When I was younger, I used to spend a lot of time sleeping over at my grandma's house. And whenever we'd wake up in the morning for breakfast, we'd have pancakes. Now with pancakes, you of course have to have maple syrup. And when my grandmother was little, she lived in Maine. And she had a maple syrup tree in her yard and she would go out there every February and collect the sap from it and then cook it over the stove, or her mother would. And I heard that story <laughs> every single time I had maple syrup with the pancakes. So I now know the story by heart. How do you feel about hearing the story over and over? <laughs> um, well, now it's a little boring but I used to love it. <laughs> How old were you when you stopped loving the story? <laughs> um, I stopped loving the story when I was about eight or nine because I had heard it a lot of times and I was tired of it and I found myself saying it with her as I heard it. Did you say anything to your grandmother to let her know that you didn't like it anymore? Um, I don't remember if I told her if I didn't stop, if I, when I had stopped liking it because it was a while back. Do you think she would like to know how you feel about the maple syrup story? Um, I think she would like to know how I feel about it, but I don't know how I would tell her.